hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to load stronghold definitive edition game on your windows computer so if the game is not loading at all or if the game is stuck on loading then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to restart your computer simply restart your computer once and after the system restart try to launch the game next step is to turn off vsync in nvidia control panel so go to desktop make a right click on the desktop and then click on NVIDIA control panel. Now go to manage 3D settings under global settings, scroll down. Now over here you can see vertical sync, click on it. And then if this is set to fast, adaptive, adaptive on, just turn it off. So select vertical sync select off over here and then click on apply and then once done now you can launch the game and then check still you're facing the problem in that case on the on nvidia control panel go to manage 3d settings then go to program settings this time click on program settings and then click on add and then select the game exe file over here if you see the game over here select it and then click on add selected program if you don't see the game over here in that case go to browse and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 open the steam folder steam apps folder now open the common folder now open the game folder and then select the game exe file over here and then click on open once the game is added over here now click on high performance nvidia processor scroll down and again find vertical sync and then turn this off once vert vertical sync is off over here click on apply and once it is done now you can launch the game and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you next step is to install media feature pack now if you are using n version of windows now this is for n version so if you have n version of windows then you can go to this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down if you have windows 11 n edition now i have windows 11 home so it is not applicable for me but if you have windows 11 n edition then open windows settings and then go to apps and then click on optional features and then click on view feature now over here type in media feature pack now if you have windows 11 and n edition when you type in media feature pack you will see media feature pack over here with a box put a check on the box and then click on next and and then install media feature pack I don't have Windows 11 and edition. I have Windows 10 home, so there is no option. So if you have Windows 11, type in media feature pack over here, select media feature pack, click on next, install it, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, if you have Windows 10 and edition, in that case, you can go to settings, then go to apps, then apps and features, and then click on optional features, and then click on add a feature, type in media feature pack, install it, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to install DirectX. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see download option. Click on download and then run this exe file. Now click on yes to allow. Now click on accept. Click on next. Uncheck install Bing bar and then click on next and let the installation complete. Now click on finish and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this go to steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Now over here you can see the game exe file, make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties and then go to the go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then click on apply click on ok make a double click and launch the game and check if there is any other exes file
so this is the only one exe file now make a double click launch the game if that does not work make a right click once again select properties again this time put a check on disable full screen optimization and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still you're facing the problem then make a right click once again select properties this time put a check over here and then select windows 8 click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again select properties and this time select windows 7 over here and then click on apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game now still you're facing the problem in that case if if these are not working then you can uncheck all the boxes over here and then click on apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11 first, close this window, now launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can type in dash DX12 and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then you can remove this, clear this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to if you are able to launch the game, switch to window mode, lower down graphics settings. Also, if you are using AMD Adrenaline, in that case, you can cap, cap the FPS to 60 in AMD Adrenaline. Now, if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first. So, go to options over here and then go to video options. Now, over here, if this is set to borderless, you can drive full screen. And and you can even try window mode so switch to window mode lower down resolution if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and then if the vsync is on you can try to turn it off and if it is already off then you can try to turn it on and then hit apply now once you make the changes now you can check the performance now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website now over here select the right product type and then select right product series so whichever product series you have select your product series and then select your graphic card so make sure that you select your graphic card over here now, if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. And then click on Start Search. And then scroll down. The latest GeForce Game Ready driver right now is driver version 546.01. This is the studio one. This is GeForce Game Ready driver. You have to install this one. And the latest is 546.02. Now click on Get Download. Now click on Download Now. And once this download is complete, run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete and after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder now if the game installed in c drive go to c drive open c drive over here open program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder over here you will find the game folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then go to the windows settings and then click on privacy and security and then click on windows security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 you will have an option update in security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down and then click on manage ransomware protection now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps again go to the game installation folder open the game folder now 
Now select the game exe file over here. Now click on open. Once the game is added, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now click on system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings on the top. Click on allow another app. Click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. And then select the game exe file. Now click on open. Now click on add. In my case, the game is already added. So once the game is added over here, now click on OK and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to delete the save game files. Now before you delete the save game files, let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress. So you have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, uh, you can open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. Now if you don't see app data over here on the top, click on view, select show and then put a check on hidden items. You should be able to see app data. If you have Windows 10, somewhere over here you will find the view option. Uh, click on view and then somewhere over here you will find hidden items box. So put a check on the hidden items box and you should be able to open app data folder. Now open the local folder and find if there is any um, game folder over here. Go back and find local low folder. Now over here you can see. So there is nothing in lo local folder. Go to local low folder and then here you can see Firefly Studios folder. Make over here you will find the game folder. So you can make a right click on fi Firefly Studios and then click on delete this. Click on delete and once it is deleted, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the install file types and then click on verify integrity of game files. After the verification, launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now this is important. So go to update and security or Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart a computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now. Next step is to disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. Disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. If you have any external devices which you are not using, so if you have these devices connected, disconnect it. Disable Steam overlay. For this, make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off, enable Steam overlay while in game, and then launch the game. Also, if you have overlay, any other overlay application, so if you have overlay on in Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in GeForce Experience, turn it off. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner or Reva Tuner or any other overclocking application, make sure that you close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. If you have any third party services or software running, make sure that you close third party application and services and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all, then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart a computer and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. 
in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case this is already installed so it's telling me to restart my computer now run the second file as well and download x64 you have to download both x86 and x64 so click on it and then run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case, this is already installed. Please ignore the error message. It's telling me to restart my computer. So once done, you will see a restart option like this. Make sure that you click on restart. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, you can launch the game. Now, the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest bios update available now before you update the system bios in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can just uninstall the game. Now, after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then reinstall the game to different drive. So if you have another SSD, try installing the game to SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.